Hey everyone, I want to share with you how you can use QR codes for data collection in your classroom. I saw a couple of different ideas on how to use these and I want to share them with you today. The first thing you're going to want to know is what data are you collecting? Are you collecting for IEP goals? Are you collecting for PLEP or both? Those are things that you need to know. Is it for individual students? Is it for a class of students? Or is it for a small group? Once you know what data you want to collect, you can start creating your QR codes. You're going to want a unique QR code that goes for each individual student's goals. Now this could be that you even have more than one per student. If a student has multiple goals or multiple things that you want to collect data on, you're going to want different spreadsheets for those in order to enter only the things that are specific to that focus on a spreadsheet. It's very easy to make a QR code and here's how. So to create a QR code, all you have to do is go to Google where you type in QR code generator. It's going to bring you a lot of different options and you just pick one that you feel comfortable using. They're all pretty much free. And from here, all you need to do is either drop in your file or your website that you would like to use. I am using this spreadsheet, so I'm going to copy my link and I'm going to paste it in here. Once I've done that, I create the QR code and I download it and it's come up on my screen. I now have this QR code that gives access to anyone that I share it with to add their data collection for student A. Now that you have your QR codes, there are a couple of ways that I found that I thought were really great ideas. First is to create a class sheet. This is a really good thing to use maybe for a gen ed teacher. You can break it up by periods, what classes this teacher has a student, and you have the student name and what the main goal is. Is it for math? Is it for basic reading? Is it for comprehension? So those teachers know exactly which QR code to scan in order to enter data for that student. So this is one way to do it. Another way is to create a ring of these. QR codes that have all of the different ones that you as a teacher need to collect. This is a really great idea maybe for your SLP or for an interventionist that works specifically with a lot of small group instruction for intervention. The other way that you can mix and match your presentation is by either laminating or using cardstock. And you can even color code by class or by area, whether it be math, reading, whatnot. Or you can do both. So that way, you have all kinds of ways to organize your data visually as well as with the QR codes going directly to a spreadsheet. And now, I want to show you how easy it is to get to a spreadsheet using a QR code. All you have to do is hold up the QR code and use the camera on an iPad or a phone of some sort and scan until it gets this. It's going to pop up with the website. You just tap it and it takes you directly to your spreadsheet. So this is a really great idea to get real-time data on your students, whether it be for an IEP goal or for any kind of data collection you need to make. This is a really great way for easy access between teachers who aren't necessarily seeing each other in a building every day. Now my one caveat is to make sure that you're following privacy laws in how you provide access to those links and data and that it's not identifiable information of an individual student.